Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics, and today we're going to talk about problems um, with blossom end rotten tomatoes. Uh, one of the biggest things is, is uh, when we're planting, and if you've had problems with blossom end rot, we want to incorporate some uh, oyster shell into the soil along with some regular fertilizer that we, we plant with. About two to three tablespoons of our oyster shell, and then in this we would also add some of our fertilizer, some all-purpose fertilizer in this. This helps with the calcium when we, with tomatoes you get a calcium deficiency which causes the blossom end rot. A lot of that is caused by water fluctuations. So if we take that oyster shell it just helps a little bit with that problem. So we can start it off healthier by adding some of that calcium to it and then it doesn't have as many problems. If your tomato plant was already in the ground and you didn't do the, cal or the oyster shell before planting, then some things that you could do to help with that is to use some foliar spray, um, just some, some calcium or some liquid bone meal and put that straight onto your tomato. We got help today from these little guys. Anyways, we could just we can spray this onto the tomatoes, uh, and that just helps with that calcium deficiency. We can also do a regular feeding of this um, oyster shell, just as we would f fertilizer, and just build a, a little berm around it, sprinkle in some oyster shell around there, cover it up, and then water it in. The biggest thing with blossom end rot is when we water, we don't want to overwater it. Let it dry out and then water it a bunch again. Keep the soil evenly moist. Stick your finger in that surface and it feels moist, then you don't need to water. But if it feels dry on the surface, you need to give it some water. Give it a small amount and then slowly incorporate some more water. You don't want to just give it a big burst because that always seems to cause problems with highs, your peaks, your ups and downs with your water. That's the biggest problem with blossom end rot. We can create a lot of our own problems with the tomato bush um, with getting blossom end rot just by the way that we water. So consistency in watering is, is the key with that. We, when we stick our finger into the soil, we just want to make sure that it's moist. Uh, we don't want that surface to dry out. When we stick it in further, it should be, should be moist even when it's dry on the surface. So just keep an even moisture on it. But sometimes, you know, mistakes happen and that's where oyster shell adding it in at the very beginning really helps with that problem. And if you didn't do that, like I said, go ahead and do, use a foliar spray with your liquid bone meal or your liquid calcium. Just follow the instructions for dilution rate. Spray it on there. Spray it on in the evening time and that really seems to help correct the problem. You may have to do it two or three times during the season. So, I mean, so sometimes challenging, but it can be fixed just with a little bit of help.